What's up, Bill Nation? It's your boy, Bill, for anything. And this is my attempt to talk about net neutrality. Now, I got a, a, a comment um, earlier uh, for one of my videos that I did where someone, shout out to her, um, asked me, one of the subscribers asked me to, you know, what are my thoughts about net neutrality? And net neutrality, you know, this is a video that I've been meaning to do, but I wanted to um, do more research about it because it is a very tricky and confusing topic. Okay, so um, I, I try to do my due diligence of reading, um, looking at videos of people that I find to be very knowledgeable, um, getting opinions from both sides because there is a side. There's a side that's for it, there's a side that's against it. And in this video, I want you to understand one thing. I am not asking you guys to make a decision or agree with everything that I'm saying. In fact, I'm encouraging you guys to do your own research. Um, but what I will say is this. I'm not going to be against something because of, for example, uh, President Trump is for it. So that means I'm automatically against it. And I'm not going to be for something simply because President Obama introduced it. And so that means that I should, I should be supportive of it. That means that it should be good. I think both of those mindsets are completely wrong. Um, not everything is going to be good for everyone. Um, but there is one thing that's been pretty consistent um, in a belief of mine is that when the government comes out with legislation, they don't really think about us. Us being me and you, the people, okay? Um, they can put a fancy word around it. They can call it whatever and make it sound very attractive and, you know, so you could put your guards down. Nine out of ten times, they're not thinking about me and you. There's a bigger picture involved. Um, there's money being exchanged somewhere along the way. Somebody else is benefiting, which is usually the government or some other large corporations other than me and you. So we have to do our due diligence in terms of understanding what's really going on so that way we can make our voices heard through meeting um, you know, with our congressmen uh, in our local areas and holding them accountable in terms of what it is that we stand for, right? And so let's get on with it. Now, a lot of, a lot of this has to do with bandwidth and speeds and regulation because right now, if you want higher bandwidth, right, you would pay more for it through your carrier, whether it's through your cell phone, whether it's through your internet provider. Now, what net neutrality is saying is that there shouldn't be um, where you have, pe you know, some people who have access to more bandwidth than others. They feel like everybody should have the same level, right? And instead of having, you know, fast lanes and slow lanes, you know, they want to be able to just make it wide open to where everybody's on the same lane in which it's not going to be good because obviously if everybody is going through that one resource, what's going to happen is the ISPs, the Netflixes and, you know, the ISPs now is going to end up having to charge more because bandwidth is something that is, it's, it's finite. You know, this is, you know, you, everybody can't have the same amount of bandwidth, right? And at the same time, everybody doesn't use the same amount of bandwidth, okay? Now, the thing with net neutrality is this. This is something that was introduced back in 2015 by President Obama at the time. And this, is, this was a leg legislation in which they basically regulate the internet. Now, I know you might be thinking, okay, that sounds good. It's regulation to them. That means everybody is going to get, is gonna be entitled to the internet. Um, Everybody's going to be able to use high speed internet like th this is what they're trying to get you to believe that this net neutrality means that you know you're you're not going to just have some people with high speed internet who can afford it and some with other and that don't and they're using um us they're using telephone companies for example your cell phone carrier to say well this means that you know this uh, uh, T-Mobile can't have an agreement with Netflix that says you can have free Netflix if you go with them for a year or whatever and Verizon can't do that because Verizon is you know they're not in bed with Netflix and so they want to be able to regulate those type of things those type of industry practices right and on the surface it may sound good but here's the deal you never really want the government hands in everything that they do okay in, in your everyday lives especially the internet okay because the internet 
it is very wide. Um, you have people, uh, more and more people are using the internet than before. Um, with YouTube, Google, Facebook, all these things, you know, people, you, Netflix, um, the internet is, is even bigger today than it was before. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple of scenarios in, in how the internet has matured. And most importantly, that you, me and you, have really dictated um, how they went about it. I, I, I'm gonna do a couple examples. Now, I just recently got um, an alert when I went in to watch Netflix the other day saying that it's gonna, my Netflix bill is gonna go up to $13.99, right? I think it was before, it was like $11.99 or $10.99 uh, because I have the uh, 4K package um, and I'm able to watch on four um, TVs at once, right? Now, this was something that I chose to do, right? When I got a 4K TV, um, I wanted the benefits of being able to look at 4K Ultra uh, movies. And so I understood that there's a premium to be paid for that. And if you can afford it and that's something I want, I went ahead and I did that, right? I didn't have to do that, okay? That's me. You might not care for that. You might not have a 4K TV. You, you, you may not need to have access to four different um, computers at the same time watching it. That may not, you don't care about that. So guess what? You're gonna pay less than me, right? That's the choice that we have, right? It's not that I need to be regulated to where I can't have that as an option or you feel like you're, you are entitled to it is the same way I'm entitled to it. But they understand that everybody is not gonna be on board with that, right? And so, brings me to another example. You have your cell phones. I have Verizon. Verizon over the last couple of months brought back their unlimited data, their unlimited LTE. This wasn't always the case. Um, there was a time where they had the unlimited LTE and then they went back down to charging people up to a certain amount of gigabytes. And what happened is people either left them and went to another network that was doing unlimited, right? Even though they understood that, yes, you might be going to AT&T or T-Mobile and getting unlimited, but it may not be as fast. Guess what happened? A lot of people left Verizon. I was one of them. I left and I went to T-Mobile. Why? Because it was cheaper. Um, they claimed they were giving me unlimited data, etc. But what eventually happened was I chose to go for the quality. Um, certain areas that I was in, I didn't have good reception on T-Mobile. If I traveled, um, I, I, it, the connection wasn't that good. So Verizon has a wider spectrum. And so I went back to Verizon, right? With the understanding that I'm gonna be paying a premium because I'm, in my eyes, I'm getting better service. And then when they decided to come back out with um, you know, the unlimited plan, I chose to do that. Guess what? That meant that I had to pay a premium, right? If that's what I wanted. Now, I wanted to go with that because I use data on my phone all the time, just like most people. And so this is what happens when you have a free market. The people determined what it was. Verizon came, brought this feature back because of the consumer. You always hear the saying that you have to talk with your money, and it's true. Um, I'll give you another example of, of why you don't need the government to, another example. You have the internet. I remember a time where, you know, Optimum Online and all these other um, uh, cable companies, DSL and Verizon, Fios at the time, you know, there was a moment in time where you, whenever you got an internet provider, you had to stick with them for a year, a contract. Some people, it was two years. What happened? Eventually, people didn't like that because people wanted to be able to come out of their uh, contract and, and explore some other options, right? And then what happened was it went from two years down to one year contract. And then they said, hey, we'll give you incentives. The first year, you're going to pay a reduced price and then it would increase after the year. Um, but then you'll be out of your contract. You can decide if you want to stay, call us or go somewhere else. What do you think happened? You look and find who else is offering a better deal, and you left. You waited a while, and then maybe you came back to your previous um, um, carrier because now they're starting to send you offers, right? But what ended up happening was all of a sudden it's month to month now. Everybody got level. Why? Because what happens is when people don't like one thing and everybody gradually shifts to the other, 
then that makes the market starts to level out because you want that competition. But what happens is when you have the government that steps in and wants to play referee, they can empower one company over the other, which will in fact hurt some of the smaller ISPs out there, providers, right? And just a side note, guys, I use a VPN, and this is something that I just got knowledge of over the last few months, but I use a VPN, which is a virtual privacy, private network, um, where basically I can kind of switch my ISPs. So I, it, it's, it's a way for you to have more privacy, because here's the deal. Your, your provider knows what you're doing. They can watch everything that you're doing. And they can label you. They can see who's that person who's watching Netflix all the time. You're considered, you know, you're, you're a power user, right? Who's that person who's online most of the time, who, does, who has all these devices connected, you know, via the website. They, they're able to label you. So they may throttle your, your, your um, they may throttle your network based on your usage, right? So when you use a VPN, it hides your ISP to where they can't determine what you're, what you're doing, right? So it protects you not only from your carrier, but also protects you from people on the outside um, gaining your information as well, okay? So that's, that's a separate video, that's a separate thing uh, uh, that I would tell you guys, whether you're for this or against net neutrality, you need to be looking into a VPN. I looked into it, I'm, I'm pro that. Okay, I'm pro that. So, but that's another video. Maybe if you guys want me to, I'll talk more about VPNs in another video. But now back to this. Um, you got to understand again that because of this legislation now, um, if you're for net neutrality, what you're saying is that you, you're okay with the government coming in. And here's, here's the irony around this. You would think something like this wouldn't benefit companies like a Google, um, YouTube, um, you know, Verizon. All, but they're for it. Think about that. Why would they be for that if this is supposed to be for you, right? Usually, most of the time, when something's better for the consumer over the the person who's providing, they usually aren't for that, right? Um, if it's going to hurt them in the long run, they're usually against it. And so, think also think why they for this. So that should be a hint in and of itself that that's probably not something that's in your best interest, right? So. This is my best way of breaking it down to you guys, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm trying to do my best, trying to give you examples um, around it because I think it's important. It really depends on the individual and any way you slice it, it should be left up to you. You should determine whether you find certain services valuable to you or not, right? I use a lot of technology. I upload videos, um, 4K, like I use a lot of bandwidth. So I'm okay with paying more for extra bandwidth um, but that's my usage. If I'm someone who doesn't use all these things, then I would probably be paying far less than what I'm paying now. But that should be left up to the individual and we should determine what the market is, not the other way around. And so that's my video, guys. Um, <laughs> hopefully that helps you understand a bit more about it. Um, you gotta understand that, even going a little further, that if you have this net neutrality in place, a lot of people are concerned that they can be censored. You know, you have some people on YouTube who talk about certain topics, um, you know, whether it's political, religion, or whatever it is, that usually you're gonna have biases and you're gonna have people from both sides that are very, you know, um, pro this or pro that. Um, they're gonna try, they're gonna obviously reduce you know, they have the, under this net neutrality, they have the ability, YouTube, Google, they have the ability to reduce the content that's, that's being viewed on those things that they find is not in line with them. And that's not something that you want. You know, this, this system isn't broken. You know, don't, you don't need the government to fix it, in my opinion. You know, so, hey, um, that's the video, guys. Hopefully that brings some sort of clarity to you. Um, it is something worth looking into uh, if you're somebody who, honestly, everybody should be aware of what's going on with that if you use the internet in any way, shape, or form because it does impact you. Now, the net neutrality was repealed a couple of days ago, um, so that's a good thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm against it personally, uh, but again, I go, that's based on the knowledge and the information that I have uncovered. So 
I'm not faulting you whether you're for it or against it. All I'm saying is do your research and don't make it about left wing, right wing, President Trump or this and that. Make it about you. Make it about what you feel is in your best interest. All right. That's the video today, guys. It's your boy, Bill, for anything. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We're doing videos every single day. 